How's it going YouTube? Liam from Lease Australia here and listen to this music. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play Blossom Tales The Sleeping King. Now, I've actually been keeping an eye on this particular game and I've been waiting until at least it either went on sale or if I had the time to actually purchase this game. But what I realized and what I noticed about this particular game in general is that it does take the inspiration of using the a classical um uh, let's see. Classical Zelda game type when you look at uh, the original Legend of Zelda or you look at the Game Boy or even Game Boy Advance games, especially um, uh, the Minish Cap and, of course, uh, the Oracle of Ages, Seasons, and what was the other one? Link's Awakening. That's what it was. Um, so we look at those games and A Link to the Past, of course. Let's not forget A Link to the Past and A Link Between Worlds. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. But, so I have not long just started this game up. I have not touched anything of this game. I just, uh, I looked it into this and I was actually intrigued of what I saw. So, uh, let's give it a go and see where this leads us. Oh, we have saves. Nice. Ooh. It's a sleeping grandpa. Oh, hello. Uh, Lily. Grandpa! Grandpa! Uh... Chris? I think that's what... It that's a very interesting way of, of typing in Chris. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Chris, I told you he'd be asleep. He's always asleep. Grandpa! Oh, 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 oh my little grandchildren. What a nice surprise. He woke up. It's a miracle. Grandpa, please tell us a story. Yeah, a story. <laughs> Have I told you about the brave elf boy who lived in a magical land called a... Uh... Yes, like a million times. What we haven't heard yet, Grandpa. Hmm. Aha! I know just the one. I will tell you the tale of the Grand Kingdom of Blossom. Yay! <laughs> That's, yeah, that's adorable. Alright. In this charming kingdom lived a young girl named Lily. Lily enjoy a quiet, peaceful life with her grandma. That is, until the day she was waiting for had finally arrived. Grandpa, this story begins on our very special day for our hero. Was it her birthday, Grandpa? No, today was much more special than her birthday. Some days only come once in a lifetime. <laughs> if you guys who have been Legend of Zelda fans for years, you would know how a game would start with Link sleeping. Well, our hero is sleeping to start off with. Oh my, she's still in bed. Come on, sleepyhead, wake up. Oh, good morning, Lily. Oh no, I slept in. You were so excited about today that you couldn't fall asleep, couldn't you? Of course not. I've been waiting for this day my entire life. Just remember, you have if you ever need an advice, come to, you can come to me. Uh, you better go before they get started without you. Love you, Grandma. All right. So as you can see, yeah, it definitely does take inspiration from the classical Legend of Zelda games, which I, I just, I love games that do that, um, because it, I love games that sort of bring that Zelda nostalgic feel to it, which is why I love Oceanhorn, I love the Everland games, um, uh, this, wait, hang on, wait a minute, what was that she hit pulled out? Oh, that's cute that it has idle animations, but that's not the one I was looking at. Yeah, there she is! Is that a phone? Or a calculator? Or a notepad? It, it's either one of the two. That's a, that's cool though. That's cute. I like that. Alright. Oh, I do actually like the style though. This is pretty cool. Alright. Okay. Grandpa. Lily pulled out her map and marked her destination with a yellow square. That is a big little square. <laughs> okay, so that's how we change it. Alright. 
Okay, so that's where our items will be. So that's the map, the log. Oh, we can keep track on the quest as well as the, the entire um, dialogue. That's cool. Head to the throne room for your knighting ceremony. Ah, okay. Alright, so I don't think there's a sprint button, is there? Which is okay. So it's like a combination of like classic Final Fantasy um, pixel st art style as well as a combination of Zelda art style. Which is cool. Okay, back is to bring up the map. Those clouds do. Lily had just discovered a portal stone. If she activates another one, she'll be able to teleport between them. Ah, so fast travel stations. That's cool. They'll come in handy. Fortunately, Lily made it just in time for the ceremony. Ah, Grandpa King by the looks of it. <clears throat> Who's that guy on the right? Was she going to become a new, the new queen or something? Oh, 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 not exactly. King Orchid. King Orchid, I believe that's pronounced it. And last but not least, I dub thee Dame Lily. What's a Dame, Grandpa? It would... It should be Sir Lily. If you say so. I mean Sir Lily. <laughs> Arise, Lily. You are now Knight of the Rose. Ta-da! Knight of the Rose? Cool! The safety of this kingdom will one day rest on you, young warriors. Our wizard... Crocus. <laughs> Crocus, I believe that's pronounced. We now bless the new knights. Oh, uh, that's who he is. Certainly, brother. May the rose be with you, knights. Knight commander. Listen up, recruits. The dungeons are infested with rats and need to be cleared out. Any volunteers? <laughs> knights scared of rats. <laughs> Lily, great. The entrance to the dungeon is in the hallway left of the library. Check your map if you get lost. With a sword and shield in hand, Lily now is was now a true knight of the rose. Okay. Yeah, that, that's cute. I like that. All right. Oh, and we have a green bar too. Will that be a magic bar? Okay, so we can't go back that way. <clears throat> All right, so. Where do we need to go? So, we need to head to the library. In here? Nope, that's the kitchen. Okay, so by the looks of it, the saving system is when we enter and exit out of rooms. By the looks of it? I believe so. Aha! The library! Okay, which way would be the dungeon? This way? Oh. Aha! Coins! Aha! There's some stairs here. Okay. Lily entered the cold dungeon, unaware of the dangers that lay ahead. <gasps> Ow. What's this? Oh, a switch! Okay. Very cool. Some more rats. Oh, it's a chest. Ow. <clears throat> so that just look like as they have been moved recently. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's cool. Alright, what's in this chest? Oh! Lily found a health potion. She can use it any time by reaching it into her bag and drinking it down. Okay, well, I won't use it just yet, but that's nice. I like that. <clears throat> oh, we got a couple of uh, pirates and bandits here. Oop. Very cool. 
Oh, we got some uh, mushroom monsters there. Ooh. Don't want to be falling down those things. Oh, they do reappear though. That's cool. Grabbing up the coins. Lily could reach lower levels by going down the edge and hopping down. Alright. <clears throat> oh, I wonder if I could stop on them. That would have been funny. <laughs> Ow. Very sleek. Very sleek on the combat. Uh, to do a roundhouse, Lily had to hold her sword out and release after building enough energy. She could also perform a jumping strike by slashing down the, the row the roundhouse. Oh, I see. Okay, so if I hold down... Oh, that's cool. And it doesn't take any green energy, which is good. So I think that is actually for proper magical use. Oh. Lily froze in disbelief as waves of arrows shoot down the rickety path. I bet her shield can help with the arrows. Let's see. Very nice. Oh, I see. It's not just a magic, it's actually an energy uh, energy gauge as well. Okay. Grab the coins. Grab the heart. Some more rats. Oh, what have we got here? A tomb of some sort. Is that open? Yes, it does. That was a pure guess, that one. Oh, uh, okay, so yeah, it's a, um, in a cemetery. I probably bet that there was just, like, switches down below to actually open all of them, I reckon. Let's, uh, let's try this one again. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, alright, so yeah, they, no, they were, they were all, um, placed randomly, okay. What's up here? Ooh. A second portal stone. Lily can now travel between all portal stones she finds. Alright. I wonder if it's also, it like, gives health back or whatnot when you actually touch these things. That would be pretty cool. In the deepest room of the dungeon, Lily found the source of the noise. It was the King of the Rats. Aw, cute! The dangerous racking would be Lily's first real challenge as a knight. Sweet! You make a fun meal for my children once I blow you to smithereens! Oh, I guess I have to pick those up, right? Wait a minute, hang on. I I just recognized something. Is that inspiration from um Oh, I can't remember what the the rat's uh what the the rat's name is from Super Mario 2 or Super Mario USA depending on where you're from. Whoop. Hey! With a full heart, Lily is now even stronger. Nice, quick, and simple. I'll take. Bombs! <laughs> My science teacher says explosives are dangerous. Rightfully so, Chris. But our young knight could use them to dangerous enemies, obstacles in her path, and crack walls. Which explains this little wall right here. Oh, I like that tune. That's a cool, that's a cute tune. After defeating the Rat King, the curious Lily entered the secret doorway. 
It led to a strange room full of many smelly odors. So she's in a bathroom? What? Oh no. It was Crocus's secret lab. Cool, I wish I had a secret lab. It was there that Lily would find an awful note revealing Crocus's evil plan. Which makes sense, because the obviousness was the colour of his outfits. Crocus's evil plan. Do not read unless you are me. Soon I will finally be powerful enough to cast a sleeping spell on my foolish brother, King Orchid. Uh, Orchid. Uh, with him out of the way, I will amass an army in the wastelands and use it to launch an assault on the kingdom. The flowery throne of Blossom Kingdom will be mine at last. Which explains the title of The Sleeping King. After reading the note, Riley ran off to warn the king as fast as she could. But unfortunately, she was too late. Crocus had already started his dreaded curse. No! <laughs> oh, how I've waited for this moment, dear brother. I will s you will sleep soundly while I conquer your kingdom with my own dark army. Your loyal subjects will soon bow down to their new wizard king. Stop! What's this? You chose the wrong wizard to interrupt. Feeble recruit. Oh dear. Sleep, my brother. Sleep. Lily is dead and the king is cursed. Why, Grandpa? Why? She can't be dead, silly. The story just started. Oh, ho, oh, oh. that ho. That's right. <laughs> By cursing the king with the spell of eternal sleep, Crocus could now make his move. What a jerk. Ooh. The wizard Crocus has wrought mischief on our king, but fear not. Knights, the future of our kingdom rests on your shoulders. With the three sacred ingredients found outside these walls, we make uh, we can make a legendary potion that can remove the curse. Uh, without our king, Crocus will raise an army and bring doom upon us all. We shall not fail our beloved king. What about Lily? What is she? Is she gonna help? She's gonna help too. Let me try it again. again. What about Lily? She's going to help too, right? Oh. What do you kids think? Lily is braids. Of course she'll help. Where is the first ingredient? I want to assist the knights. Uh, this task is far too dangerous for, for a new recruit. Stay here and continue her training, young one. But... Despite her orders, Lily was determined to help save King Orchid. Even if it wasn't... Even if it meant venturing into dangerous land, she had only heard about stories. Uh, places even the best knights fear to enter. She's not afraid. Yeah. So where does Lily have to get the first, Gran go first, Grandpa? She must go to... Um, let's see. I think I forgot. Grandpa! Wait, I remember. Lily must go to an ancient land known as Gollum's, ha Gollum's Haven. There she will find the first ingredient for the posh fairy clover. Woohoo! To reach Gollum's Haven, Lily must venture south of Blossom Castle and into the wilds. Map updated. Ah, we're going down this way. Okay, before I continue, let's just look at the fact that we have these four, um, oh, what are their names? What are they? Disciples, right? Disciple of the Rose. Uh, you must venture into Gollum's Haven. Doesn't that remind you to anyone, especially for playing a lot of Zelda? Not to mention, of course, that we are getting three ingredients. Uh, I just love—I just love this. I love the nostalgic feel. That's what I like. Ah, so that's where it leads to. Okay. Oh, oh butterflies! I think we should first visit, uh, catch up with Grandma first. <laughs> I feel like that would be a a right move. Ooh, a shop. Rosemary Hammer. 
Okay, so we can upgrade our gear from here, if I'm assuming correctly. Chop down grass, which is nice. I should probably explore around the rest of the uh, rest of the kingdom before going out, actually, because I haven't properly done that. Hi, Grandma. You must venture. You must venture southwest from the castle to reach Golem's Havens. Be careful, dear. All right. So we'll head southwest in a moment, but let's explore around the rest of this uh, around this kingdom. I like playing these little game, like these little games, just for the fun of it, because, um, because especially, like I said before in some of the previous videos I've done, if a game is intriguing, intrigues me a little bit, then I will give the game a go, and something like this is definitely worth like messing around, because again, of this nostalgic feel, it's pretty cool. Okay, that's all of the kingdom explored. Okay, it's open! Let's go! Oh, listen to the music! I like it! Okay, so... Ah, so the grass effect works too! So you grab coins and of course it has the, uh... When you cut down the grass, I like that. Oh, we got some bandits. Ow! Hey! <clears throat> At least I know that these guys drop a lot of coins. That's actually good to know. Ow. So, where do we go? We need to head this way. I can definitely vibe to this kind of music here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the tone of the grass is actually... Unless if it's changed to the night time, then that's pretty cool. At the end of the dock waited an old druid on his boat. He was Lily's only hope for reaching Gollum's Haven. So you wish, so you wish to go to Gollum Haven, eh? Yes. All right, let's go. Me. Ah, that's that's actually a good music. This way. Uh, Lily entered Gollum's Haven for the first time, but something was wrong. The druids were under attack. <gasps> by what, Grandpa? The evil archers brainwashed by Crocus. No, they were sent. <laughs> they sent their rock monsters to do their dirty work. I both sound quite terrible. Uh, let's go with archers. It was a group of evil druid archers attacking their peaceful brethren. I wonder if like choosing the golems like uh, increases the difficulty and takes more hits than just what uh, these archers are doing. Ow! Uh, ooh! Feathers! I wonder what those are used for. What if there's like a crafting system? That would be pretty cool. Oh. Thank you for saving us, Sir Knight. Please come inside. I guess there goes that one one feather. <laughs> hmm, you're la younger than the other knights who passed through here. They already left to the temple, one of the last places where Fairy Clover still grows. But I fear their impatience will prevent them from activating the magic stones protecting the, the entrance. One must watch carefully and listen to the tones. 
not hack away like a fool. If you are also heading there, please wary of the druids that have detected, defected from our group. They now serve the dreaded Dark Wizard. Alright, so we're now heading up towards the far west side of the area. Oh, we could sell the feathers there. Okay, that makes sense. So it goes out towards this way. Ah, so those are what the golems look like. Because I can't attack them because of, uh... Well, there's stone. Aha! At least I know how to attack a golem. Oh, spider webs. Spiders! Let's go in there. It's a secret? Hey! Boy, am I glad you're here. I was digging uh, for red druid artifacts when my shovel fell down here. Care to help me find it, young knight? Sure. Grab the coins from here. Back up here. What's in here? Shovel! A shovel. Now Lily can dig for buried treasure. Uh, she's a knight. What a shovel. I l with a shovel? I love it. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, I definitely get it. I know the reference. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's all banged up now. You go ahead and hold on to it. I'll use the extra one I completely forgot I had with me. <laughs> Going up. Ah, uh, okay, so using items actually uses the, uh... Uses the, uh, green bar. So it's like a proper stamina bar, not just magic. Okay. I'm really curious of like what these red feathers are used for, especially knowing that that uh, one of the shops back at the village. Right. Oh! Uh, <laughs> if it isn't a Deku tree of this game, Tree Lord. Hello, your knight of rose. Us tree spirits were here long before your kingdom came to be. But now our days are numbered thanks to the wicked outsider and his dark magic. His curse upon these lands have affected ten of my tree brethren. Free them from this cold grip and I shall reward you. If not, I'm afraid the time of the tree spirits will end soon. Okay. Oh, do we have to go through here? No? Okay. Hang up, some... I'm gonna do the whole uh, Ocarina of Time thing, where if I see a pot that I can hit with my sword, I will hit it. Ow! Knew that was gonna happen eventually, but... Oh well. Coins. What's this? I need to figure out what those buttons actually do, because I know that there were some buttons uh, at the main field uh, that we came across earlier. Oh. There we go. That's one down. So we basically just have to keep hitting them until they uh, turn back to back to the good side, I'm assuming. Oh, we've got little gnomes here. Magic little gnomes. Oh, dear. All right. At least a bomb can get rid of you quickly. It's a pretty cool magic element. Oh, hello. 
Hey, what's in here? Ooh. Okay, so I definitely need something else for that, I believe. Which is okay. But at least I know that there's a good puzzle to go for. Whoa, whoa, hello. Boom. You might not already get 20 out of these feathers already. Oh, hello. Who's this guy? I lost where that coin went. A funny character camped along the path was Stan, a famous traveling salesman. He can be found all over Blossom Kingdom. I bet he's collected some neat things to sell. Hello, Stan? Hi, I'm Stan, the traveling salesman. Yo, let me tell you how lucky it is that you ran into me today. Believe me when I say, I've got what you need. You don't fool me with that cute face and pretty dress. I see a fire in your eyes. You got a quest and will do anything to complete it, right? It will be quite the shame if you bit the big one and let everyone down. Uh, you know, bought the farm, maybe become food for those vicious fungi out there. Uh, that's why I'm offering you precious heart pieces, of course. It's tough out there, here, to, for me. So I can't just give it to you. 300 gold, down. Believe me, you won't find a better deal. That really is a shame. Well, goodbye. 100 for a heart piece. Yikes. I guess that in some fairness, you know, um, I think Ocarina of Time had a... I think one of the shops had something like that. So that's how their attack works. Okay, and we beat them, we get our hearts back. That's actually cool. Oh, we're back in the village. Okay, let's check out this shop over here and see what these feathers are used for. Hello. Are you here to help me? I make the finest arrows uh, in the entire kingdom, made from griffin feathers. That's what the feathers are, uh, that fall from the sky. Unfortunately, a dark, uh, a dark magic has made these lands dangerous. But you like a brave young gal. Collect feathers for me and I will share my profits with you. I need at least 20 for each shipment to the castle. Makes sense, okay. I wonder if that's only for this area or for every other monster and I just <laughs> slashed at the stein. Alright, well, I'm going to end the end of the episode off here, but I am liking this already. Like, I, 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 I have to tell you again, a lot of these games, like these indie developed and little games that have that Zelda nostalgic feel, I just love. Because that shows you how much that I enjoy the Zelda series so long, uh, so much, excuse me, for so long. And then playing some of these indie games like Oceanhorn, um you know, uh, Everland, Everland 2, and especially here with Blossom, uh, Blossom Tale, you know, it is, this is a good little game, like, it really is a good little game so far, and I'm really enjoying, I'm gonna enjoy seeing what else this game has to offer, um, uh, so yeah, uh, expect to see a lot more of this video, a lot more of this series, uh, going forward, uh, I don't know how many episodes I'm gonna be making out of this, but that's hard to tell with games, uh, with such an adventure feel, it can be a little, it can be a lot, who knows? But, with that being said, I am going to end up the episode off here. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you liked the video, then click the like button. Click the subscribe button for more videos sent your way. Until next time, this has been Let's Play Blossom Tale, The Sleeping King. I believe I have said the title right. But until next time, I'm Liam from Leaves Australia. Liam out!